this is Heather Hoffman and I'm here with another card using the January 2020 kit of the month from Unity Stamp Company. I'm doing some soft watercoloring and adding a little bit of sparkle and some fun pattern paper. I've already pre-stamped my image on watercolor paper as you can see and I also die cut it out with just a Simon Says Stamp basic circle die. Um, any circle die would work or you could trim it into a square if you didn't um, happen to have any of those on hand. I'm using my Daniel Smith watercolors just to do some really soft and simple watercoloring on here. Um, nothing super fancy. I just kind of started playing with the color and um, building it up. I really didn't even know when I started what I had in mind or what colors I wanted to do. So I started soft um, and then just kept building up. So I'm going to go ahead and pause, the, uh, pause my talking and just play some music while I finish the watercoloring and then we'll move on and finish the card in a minute. We finished up the watercoloring on there so I'm going to clean up my paints real quick and set those out of the way and you can see that that's all finished now I'm going to plan while that dries a little bit I uh, pulled out my rustic wood six by six pattern papers from unity stamp company and I kind of started going through to pick which one I wanted I really wasn't sure because um, again I hadn't planned my colors until um, I started painting so I was waiting to see which piece seemed like a good match so I went through all of them and I ended up picking up that really soft wood piece I Thought it felt kind of soft and spring and went really well with the colors of that watercoloring so i'm going to trim that down into the size of my a2 card front um, trim off the sides and the top um, so it's four and a quarter by five and a half that way it'll fit the front of my card and while that worked and looked good it felt like it needed a little something there and i had a scrap of vellum um, with a torn edge on each side so i ended up pulling that out and just tucking it on it just provided a little bit of a uh, background and softened that pattern paper a little and provided a place to set that circle of that watercolor bird on um, kind of a base for it if you will yes and I kind of liked how that worked sometimes I'll tie ribbon behind to do the same thing and on this one I actually decided to go ahead and add some twine as well um, I'm going to adhere that onto my white card front a lot of times when I use um, this fine twine I actually prefer to wrap it around the entire card front if you prefer you can wrap it around the pattern paper first and adhere it I just don't like that little bump in between and I don't mind it being around the front of the card so this is kind of a personal preference for me that um, I just like best um, and I know that that pattern paper is going to stay adhered the best it can that way as well all right I tied that bow on there and then I kind of planned where I'm going to lay everything but I decided to add some sparkle to that watercolor circle there so I pulled out some distress mica flakes I'm going to adhere them in place with some glossy accents which also will add great shine so it'll kind of pair together and I just squeezed a good bit of glossy accents on there and smeared it around with my fingers so it's a nice thick coating where I put it and then sprinkle those mica flakes on which are basically a really thick coarse glitter um, so it adds a super duper sparkly look and I kind of loved how it's almost like a frosty snowy um, this time of year it's such a fun mix of a little bit of spring and a hint but also that coolness from uh, the frost so I just kind of felt like it was a fun combination all right instead of setting that aside to dry I wanted to finish the video so I went ahead and added foam adhesive to my card so I could stick that straight on and not um, mess up where I'd added those mica flakes and then I'm going to come in um, and add that sentiment I've already trimmed down to a thin strip by just adding foam to the sides since it'll go over the top of the circle that'll hold that in place where it is there all right there we go super soft pretty simple and hopefully you can see that little bit of sparkle from the mica flakes thanks so much for coming by today have a wonderful day mm -hmm. 